This session today is to show the features of the MGLD.3000 Vulcan Lock Ring Leak Detector. This unit is a sniffer type leak detector for production and other applications. It uh, detects a tracer gas under pressure in the test vessel. The available gases that you can use, you can have to change the probe which is here for each gas, but you can do hydrogen, refrigerant, and CO2. So there's three different uh, types of, of gases that we can detect and a separate probe for each one. So to change the type of tracer gas you would just need to change out the probe. So I'm going to go through some of the features here. First off there's a lock and unlock. I'm going to unlock the features, put in my def default password, and now all the features are unlocked to, to change. Those can be relocked once set. Now I'm going to change the parameters as far as the gas to 5% hydrogen. You can also change to ppm to grams per annum, ounces per year, or atmosphere cc's per second. So I'm going to change it to ounces per year because that is a very common um, unit used in the industry. Hit OK. So now we're using 5% and the display is in ounces per year. This is the analysis mode. So when I put the unit, as you can see we're measuring a very, very low leak rate. That's the analysis mode. If we change that to, to the detection mode, we have a sensitivity level and a leakage level that goes up when the leak goes up, leak finds a leak. So we had that very, very low leak rate and now we've got a signal, very vibrant signal indicating a leak. So uh, this unit is capable of finding a very, very small leak in a vessel. Do that one more time. We can also change this via the touch screen here to desensitize the unit if we have a big leak that we need to find. So now the smaller leaks will not show up as vibrant and we can find the big leaks that we're looking for to locate. So this helps location. The minimum, as you can see we're not even getting a signal now and that just basically says hey, you know, you only find the very, very, the biggest leaks. So that gives your operators some flexibility to, to locate. I'm back on the max sensitivity now, and you see we're getting a very, very vibrant signal. We have a calibration screen where I won't go through it, but basically as a calibration sequence that you go through to using a test leak such as what sits here to, to um, calibrate the unit. You can also set the alarm, which we'll do here. To 4 ppm, so that changes the bar graph display. Now we should put that to the leak. As you can see the ch screen changes color indicating a leak. At the same time, as I said earlier, we can go here to the detection mode screen. You'll see that clean up from the when we expose it to the leak. Now we'll re-expose it. And you'll see that uh, go into leakage level. We go back to the analysis from the location screen. And you can see that that was reflected on the bar graph chart. This all, unit also has a battery pack. I'll demonstrate that. This is the power supply. You can see the unit is still working fine. Now it is on battery power. The battery pack will last four to six hours. This concludes this video, and if you have any other questions, feel free to call us. My name is Greg Vaughn. I'm the technical representative here at Schoonover. My number is 770-479-7138. Again, that's 770 
479-7138. We'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.